It's about 6.09 p.m. before I get out of the office, I wanna to talk to you about one of the main factors that separate those who achieve their goals and dreams from those who live average, ordinary, normal lives. I certainly wanna do big things with my life and I wanna help as many people along the way and that's why I put out daily videos talking about my experience in software sales. I have nothing to sell you, no courses, nothing. I'm just here to add as much value as I possibly can. The answer to the initial statement is becoming a learning machine, deploying a growth mindset each and every day so that you can separate yourself over time. And let me explain. So believe it or not, this may come as a surprise, but when I first started in sales, I really dreaded cold calling. I've now made over 45,000 cold calls and something I really enjoy doing and talk to you about how to find more success sooner rather than later with it. When I first started, I needed a script to feel comfortable picking up the phone. And on top of that, I was around all of my colleagues in the office, I knew they could hear me, and everyone said, Trent, you sound like a used car salesman, you're super pushy, you talk super fast. Some of that has changed, I've gotten better over time, but ultimately the paradigm shift for me was recognizing, look, calling is never going away, I may as well embrace it. And if you stick with anything long enough, you can and will get better. And that's the first point here, is recognizing that you can get better at anything you choose. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you the blueprint for how you can become a learning machine. But first, take one second to hit the like button below if you'd like to support the channel and subscribe for more videos. So look, you can get better at absolutely anything you put your mind to. Think about this, anything and everything you ever need to learn to achieve your wildest dreams is currently in a book or on the internet somewhere. So you can find information for free, it's easily acceptable and digestible at a moment's notice. So once you recognize that, that paradigm shift of look, anything I ever could need to know is for free online on the internet or written in a book, I can go buy it. Once you, once you believe that, you're like, okay, I can get better at anything. And I think that that's what keeps me confident in my sales job and in most aspects of my life, not all aspects, but it's recognized that, look, I may not know how to do something well now, but over time I will get better. And that's the story that I always go back to with the cold calling, it took time to get better. So it starts with recognizing what do you wanna get better at and what are the skills you need to be successful. So if we take one of the most successful quarterbacks in NFL history, Peyton Manning, he's not paid to be like Lamar Jackson, run around, be athletic. He is paid for his throws and it's not like he had the most powerful arm. He was paid for his mindset, his mentality, his preparation, how he saw the field, how he prepared. So his world-class skill was being the smartest person, the most prepared person on the field, and that was totally in his control. So as you think about your own life, your own career, many of you who watch this channel are in sales just like me. I'm an account executive working in software sales. My goal is to become an enterprise software account executive, and I wanna help as many of you go from SDR to enterprise AE and ultimately find jobs as well. So when I think about my own life, I want to master sales, the art and skill of sales. So as we think about sales, that's the main skill, being able to close revenue. There's of course sub skills in that, prospect and negotiating, demoing, technical expertise, knowledge. The one constant you'll find working in sales, particularly in technology, is that things are always changing. So this is point number two. Those who can outlearn will always outperform over time. The thing that blows my mind at my company, we have a sales enablement resource hub, meaning there is one place I can log on on my computer that has all of the product, all of the sales, all of the knowledge I could ever need to do my job at the highest level, but I definitely don't spend enough time or apply myself to learn like I need to because I feel like I prioritize other skills and I think, oh, at this moment in time, this is important and then I'll go focus on this thing. So ask yourself, what do you want to become world class at? Is it sales? Is it negotiating? Is it making videos? Is it audio? Is it washing dishes? Whatever it may be, decide what you wanna become world class at. And then that brings us into step number three is commit yourself to daily learnings. And what I mean by daily learnings is once you identify what you're working towards, so becoming world-class at sales like me, 
It's identifying how do you learn best? Is it through audio, listening to podcasts? Is it through videos, watching YouTube videos? Is it through reading books, actually picking up a book? My personal approach on this is I like to do all three. Each and every day throughout the day, I listen to motivational tapes, I listen to interesting people on podcasts. I'm not as good anymore at reading, which is completely a lack of discipline um, by not picking up the book, but I really like to read as well. I feel like that helps with my overall just brain processing. I feel like when I read, I speak more fluently and coherently. And I also like to listen to podcasts as well. One of my favorite things to do is when I'm mining and prospecting, I'll throw on a podcast, zone out, but also be finding prospects so it's contributing to my sales job in a meaningful way as well. You may be thinking at this point, but Trent, you're different. You have bigger goals. You were born from a better background. You have a different way of looking at things. You may have a fixed mindset. So it takes some self-awareness to identify where are the flaws in your thinking and figure out how can you improve? So let's talk about a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. I view a growth mindset as a certain particular ideology, a way of looking at problems and obstacles. If, hey, I don't have the skills to do something well now, I can learn, I can get better into the future. People with a fixed mindset view problems, view situations, they're the ones that complain, they're the ones that can complain about billionaires, about other people doing well, because they feel like they don't have the skill set to improve, and it's completely incorrect. And I think that this goes even a layer deep into the nature versus the nurture, meaning are people born with a particular set of skills and general baseline intelligence, or are they shaped over time based on their circumstances, conditioning, and their environment? I think it's certainly a mix of both. As long as you're watching this video right now, you, I'm here to tell you right now, you have a growth mindset, meaning you can get better at anything you t decide to do. So it takes identifying what do you want to get better at, what are the skills that you need to improve in order to get better at that thing? And then commit yourself to the daily learnings, then the knowledge and the books, the podcasts, the audiobooks. One of the best examples of this and the learning machine example that I picked up was from a guy who founded a couple companies. He's been on the Amazon board for a couple of years and he was describing what separates Jeff Bezos from other people. And it's Jeff is naturally really smart, good work ethic, all of the controllables that you can have but he outlearns other people over time, which is what separates him. Think about a bookstore. He probably read a lot of books. Is that a shocker? And what he talked about about Jeff was that he was very quick about identifying the frameworks he needed to be more successful. So early on, it was how do I hire? It was then how do I scale? How do I add this department, this division? And if he didn't have the knowledge, he said, okay, who does? How can I go learn from that people? And that's what it comes down to. It's believing, look, I may not have what it takes today, but I will find a way to get over it. And that's what having a growth mindset is all about. And I think it's so important in sales, going back to one of the initial points, I was listening to an interview by Michael Dell, the guy who founded Dell Computers, and he said, the one constant working in technology is that you need to be adaptable because things are always changing. Your competitors are changing what they do, their talk tracks. Your product is always updating and getting better. So you need to constantly stay ahead of the curve and always learn and focus on learning. And those people that stop learning after college are those people that live average lives because they're not committed to their success. And it's really as simple as out learning other people. I know I keep saying it, but I really wanna hit home on this point. You can have virtually anything you want in life, but not everything, and it just comes down to how do you learn the skills to go and do that thing? All of the knowledge is out there, so it just comes down to applying yourself. And that's how I built this YouTube channel, learning the new skills. That's how I find more success in my software sales shop, learning the new skills. I'm certainly not the best at it, I'm not the smartest, but I do work hard, I do apply myself, and that's what I'm trying to do to become world-class at sales. If you enjoyed this video and got any value today, hit the like button now if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel for daily posts. Of course, comment down below for the algorithm. Let me know how I can help you. Connect with me on LinkedIn if you'd like to join professional networks. Follow me on TikTok.